elephant was so quiet and shy. He was hopeless at school, and I'll tell you why. His pride in himself was lower than low. It made him feel stupid, all tongue-tied and slow. When asked any question, he'd panic and freeze. Eric's mind would go blank, and he'd shake at the knees. Relax, said the teacher. Don't give in to fear. Then things will come easy. Your mind will be clear. Eric tried to relax, but fell off his chair. And all the class laughed. They just didn't care. Poor Eric came home from school looking glum, but soon felt much better with a hug from his mom. She said, my poor baby, I know how it is. When you're feeling all shy and getting a tiz. Believe it or not, I was like you at school. My mind would clam up and I'd feel such a fool. Really? said Eric. But you're so cool and clever. You never get tongue-tied. Not ever. Not ever. You'll be like that soon, said Mom to her son. Just believe in yourself. And your boldness will come. The next day at school, Eric did try to speak, but nothing came out. Just a strange little squeak. The teacher said, Eric, please try to be bold, or you'll still be at school when you're 80 years old. The next day, his school held a big open day when all of the children put on a display. The monkey recited a wonderful rhyme. The dog did a story in movement and mime. But poor Eric felt he just wanted to hide. So he went in the playground and just cried and cried. Then suddenly he stopped and started to sniff. A very strange smell, a burning type whiff. Eric turned around quickly. Oh my, what a sight! A great plume of smoke. The school bus was alight. Fire! bellowed Eric and trumpeted loud. And everyone rushed from the school in a crowd. They all stood and stared and gasped out in fright. As smoke poured from the bus, what a terrible sight! Oh no! cried the penguin with a horrified squawk. Without our school bus, we'll all have to walk. For once, Eric didn't feel helpless and shy. Let me help, he said. At least, let me try. He filled up his trunk from a big pail of water and put out the fire with his massive great snorter. The smoke fizzled out and the school bus was saved thanks to the smart way that Eric behaved. They all cheered and clapped and raised him shoulder high. At that moment, his confidence shot to the sky. Eric's mom was so proud, she wept tears of joy. And she cheered the loudest, my brave, clever boy. So from that day on, Eric spoke out in class, cool, calm, and collected. He was bolder than brass. Now everyone says, our Eric so cool, a quick thinking hero, he's nobody's fool. <laughs>